Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to this new demo uh, about TOT uh, datasets. So we were planning to release uh, different datasets available publicly, and we already did that for the performance and for the um, um, solver. Now, this time, we will talk about uh, security. Let me sh share my screen. Um, I forgot how to do that. Oh, no, yes, it's here. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. So um, this is uh, based on the work that uh, Kevin did. Um, so he created a workflow pipeline that generates uh, this data um, for security, or let's say that later can be aggregated and give us some score about the security. So the first part that you will see in the notebooks, which are available on our um, dot station datasets uh, repo or uh, on Kaggle as well. So you have the same things with the same uh, descriptions. And so these two uh, new analyzers present in Tot uh, that Kevin created are based on uh, Bandit Python package. So this tool is able to find uh, common security issues which are created and uh, clustered in these groups. As you see, there are different groups for different types of tests. And each of these tests will have um, two particular parameters, which are the level of severity and the level of confidence. And these are assigned when a test is created. Uh, and this can be based on a CVE, on, depending on the severity and how confident can be related to that severity. While the second part, the second uh, analyzers, uh, is called the uh, SI clock and is based on a RPM package called clock, which basically count all the lines that are present in your package, in your uh, uh, package, yes. So you can identify which uh, um, programming language uh, is used and uh, the line of codes that are related to that. And we can use this uh, together with this other um, analyzer to aggregate uh, some security score at the end. Um, so this uh, notebook uh, explores these two type of uh, outputs that are created by these two analyzers. The first one is the SI bandit. So the first part is uh, pretty um, standardized, I would say, for TOT components, where we try to have uh, some uh, information related to metadata. Uh, so what uh, the version of the analyzer you are using and the inputs that are used as some specific information regarding where the, we are running these uh, analyzers and all this information are stored in the metadata. Um, so just to extract some of them, as you can see, you can have uh, basically the information regarding the package that has been analyzed, when and with the version, because this is important for us to analyze different uh, version of the analyzer, of course. Uh, the second part instead is more specific to the analyzer itself. I mean, it's always uh, for the analyzer, but uh, this is more uh, regarding the output of the bandit uh, package. So here you, you see, as I said, uh, you will have different uh, metrics. So for each of the file that is present inside the package is analyzed and uh, it's looking for possible um, vulnerabilities which are present. And if they are, you will basically have for each of this um, file, which is present, uh, you will find uh, some scores, uh, <clears throat> sorry, some uh, identified uh, vulnerabilities, and then there are some summary of this data. Uh, you can have a look at each of these uh, data and each of this file, and if you want a more uh, detailed analysis, uh, there is a the result part, which basically show every single uh, vulnerability identified. So here you find a summary. Here you have more detail regarding the exact piece of code where this happened. Um, the of course again the Tibetan confidence, but you can find the line of code exactly where this can be also a range if it's in a range and the type of test. As I said, there are classes, so you can match the class with the test that has been uh, used and the uh, vulnerability identified. Uh, here you can do some other type of uh, analysis. 
that we were doing uh, to um, have a more detailed uh, differentiation of this uh, um, preliminary output. So we can see exactly, uh, because right, right, if you see here, you will see that, uh, uh, maybe this is not a good example, uh, but if you have more type of severity, it does not show you if uh, there are two at high confidence and uh, several severities, you cannot see which one is exactly assigning to whom. So here, basically, we refactor this data to have this information as well. And the second part uh, is related to clock. So clock, as I said, again, we will have this first metadata. Um, part of the report which are created. And uh, the second part is uh, specific to clock outputs. And here, for example, you can see that uh, for this package, uh, annotator in version 0 0.4 from index, uh, from that index, uh, we can see, for example, that this was basically only Python uh, code. And uh, then if we try to aggregate all this data to see something more related to the packages. First of all, there is something we need to take care. Um, we run these vulnerabilities on all the files, but uh, you can, you don't want to have uh, tests also on the test because uh, you might find out that uh, the number of vulnerabilities is very high. For example, there is the assert test, which is something that, uh, not, uh, I mean, it's a still a low vulnerability, but it's something that uh, uh, needs to be not reported in this uh, analysis. So we basically, we can filter the type of files that are present, and then we can have a look at these uh, uh, results for all these packages. Um, we can filter if we want to see something after a certain period of time. Um, there are some functions, and here basically we try to aggregate to see um, to sort these results for different uh, packages. This is uh, basically one package called Acme, and this uh, out of this sorting, so it's sorting based on the higher severity with high confidence, then sort this in order. And you can see that uh, this package uh, has been considered uh, with more vulnerability of uh, high confidence. Uh, if I remember well, yes. But there are also other things. So we need to do some other processing on this data to improve that. And later, another thing you can see is uh, across the same package. For example, you can see what is the behavior on this uh, um, package, so this is the same package. I filter for this uh, ACME, and you can see basically how it's, how it is behaving in terms of this uh, vulnerabilities identified. And this can show us maybe also no maybe it can show us also some behavior of the of the project as well. Um, yes, so this is basically. Uh, a first exploration of this data set, which is available, and uh, we will, we are currently working on, on aggregating this data and uh, come out with uh, a security score that can be used later on in our advices um, for thought. And that's it. If you have uh, any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Cool. No questions. Thanks.